Listen, if you're not using Reels right now, you are missing out on a huge opportunity to grow your business. And if you're like a lot of people, you're thinking, yeah, I've heard that before, but I don't know what to post. That's why I put together an ultimate list for you, full of Reels ideas, from the first Reels you should post, to ideas with just still pictures, to faceless Reel ideas. So grab a notebook and a pen, because you're gonna wanna write all of this stuff down, and I even have a bonus for you. I'm going to show you how to use the Reels Remix feature to give you even more ideas. So let's stop talking about it, and let's get to it. Reels idea number one is called the progress because we are showing the progression of either your career or your life or a project. If we're talking about you, you could show clips or pictures of you from your past representing different seasons of your life, different stages of your business so that your ideal person can relate to you. And then at the end, you show your success. You show what lesson you learned through that progression. You could also do this with a project like this photographer. She's showing her setting up for her shoot for that day. She shows you each stage and then she shows you the final product. Idea number two is one of my favorites. It's not for everybody. I call it act it out. It's when you characterize a certain thought or habit and you put a face on it. It makes it really relatable to your ideal person. Here's a video of someone doing this when she wanted to eat junk food at night and her conscience pops out of the pantry. I also did this by representing my negative thoughts. Surely you don't think people take you seriously as a video coach when you work out of your laundry room. I call her the Southern Belle from hell. And when she appeared, I was able to show how I acknowledge my negative thoughts and then put them in their place, minimize them and move on. Number three, I call the trend watch. Trends are a lot of fun and you can use them for your business. You can use them to relate to your ideal person. Trends don't have to be a dance. They don't have to be a song. They can be original sound of someone talking. You use that as the voiceover and then you put in your own videos and your pictures with your own text bubbles to represent what you're doing. Adapt it to your industry. Or here's another one. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious standard practice in your life. She used the voice of someone asking for her favorite life hack and then she illustrated what that life hack was using her video with someone else's sound. Number four, social proof. Take a clip of you teaching a class or giving a speech. Maybe you are on a one-on-one -on -one call with a client. You are going to take a snippet of that, of you inspiring, motivating, or educating, and use that clip as your reel. This is great social proof because it's a behind the scenes of you helping someone else, but then you're also giving tips to the person who is watching. Number five, a day in the life. This will require you mapping this out and documenting your day, but you wanna show a beginning to the end of something that you're accomplishing that day. Like this decor enthusiast, she takes you on her shopping trip, shows you picking out a certain table, and then she shows how she styles that table so that you get to follow her from the beginning to the end of her project. Number six, fun facts. Share some fun facts about you, things your audience does not already know about you, and then illustrate those facts with pictures. This is a great way for you to nurture your existing audience and get them to know you better. Number seven, product reviews or comparing tools. You can take something that you have nothing to do with, no affiliation with, and genuinely share what you think about these two different products. People are always looking for people's opinions so they can save money and get the right thing. I did this by comparing all the ring lights I have and showing how they made my face look different with the different lighting. Number eight is Insta Inspo. Think about it. When people are on Instagram, they obviously care about Instagram and they're going to naturally be interested in learning more about Instagram. So if you can show an Instagram hack on how to make their stories look better, their reels look better, their images look better, or learn more about the app so that they can reach their goals more quickly, they're going to be interested. You don't even have to put your face on camera. Just show a hack by screen recording your phone as you create that thing or illustrate that 
that hack. Number nine, remix. Go back through your best performing videos you've ever done. These could be TikTok, these could be IGTVs, these could be Reels, and take the information from those best performing videos and then remix them. Shoot them again, create them again in a whole new way. Maybe it's a different angle or maybe it's a different way of you explaining it. And number 10, answer it. This is really easy. You're going to go back through your comments and your DMs and look at what people have asked you. Then you're going to go to other people's accounts who are in your industry and look at their comments and what people have asked them. Take those questions, throw them in your ideas bank because these are going to be great places for you to get content ideas for your reels. Faceless reel idea number one, the carousel. You've seen carousels where you can post multiple pictures on your Instagram feed, why not take those exact same images and turn them into a voiceover? Here's an example of someone on Instagram showing how she gained new followers on Instagram with her carousel. You don't see her face, but you do hear her voice and she has great visuals to show you exactly what she did. It's a great way to repurpose your content so it's not just living on your feed, now it's in a reel. Faceless reel idea number two, I call tech tricks. You've seen people do this. They screen record their phone while they show you how to use an app or how they edit a photo. You can do this while screen recording or you can actually show you using the device that you are teaching them with. This is an example of someone using their phone to show you how they get these great shots. Notice you don't see his face, but he is in the video. But what's really interesting in both of these examples, both this photographer who shows you how to edit and the guy showing you how to get cool shots with his phone, they are using people in their videos. So even though it's not you, it's more interesting when you put a person in your video and even better when there's action in your video. But before we get to faceless real idea number three, you need to know that if you want to build a business online, your face and your voice are part of your brand. It helps people remember you. It helps people like you. It helps people trust you. Therefore, they're more likely to buy from you. So while we can show these ideas without your face, it's really important that you make most of your reels with your face and your voice. And here's a way for those days that you don't feel like getting on camera to show how to use an app and still get your face in there. This is an example of me showing you how to remove the background from your image and I use an image with my face on it. So even though I'm not doing a talking to camera video, I'm still showing my face so that people know what I look like. Here's another example of me showing you how to use my free Reels cover templates and I make sure my face is in the picture that I'm using to illustrate this. By the way, if you would like to get those free reels cover templates they're in the description of this video faceless reel idea number three a simple how to if you can save someone time save them money make them look better make their house look better you're on to a good reel here's a great example of someone showing you how to style a bed even better all of these that I am obsessed with they show you the before and the after the beginning to the end a transformation if you've got a good transformation you don't have to show your face to get a lot of views. Faceless real idea number four, best of. Who does not like a nice countdown. Remember David Letterman and his top 10 every night? Yeah, we like that stuff. You could do the best reels you've seen. You could do the best moments of your week, or you could do a countdown of the best tips that you've given all week on your Instagram. It's a great way to give value, but also promote your account. This is an example of a sports account showing you the top 10 best sports highlights of the week. No face required. Faceless real idea number five, story time. People cannot not finish a story, especially when it's your story and you're connecting with them with a pain point that they also experience. Here's an example of mine talking about what it was like when I first started my business and how I questioned and doubted myself. Yes, my face is on the video, but I used old videos. So this is an example of how you can share a story of yourself with old images, old videos, and you don't have to get gussied up for the camera. Remember, if we're using Using reels to grow our impact, grow our audience, and grow our business, every reel needs to have a purpose. Are we reaching our ideal follower by hitting a pain point and encouraging them? Are we showing them how to do something that can give them a quick win? Face or not, your reel should have 
an intention behind it that has to do with the problems that you solve and the person you solve them for. The first way to make a reel with just pictures is to use screen record on your phone. If you don't know how to do that, search it for your specific phone type and learn how. It's very easy. So you're hitting screen record, then once you've got it recording, you're going to go to the image in your photo album that you want to use. Once you select it, tap it to make sure you just see that image. And while you're screen recording, you can actually zoom in using your thumbs and you can take out things you don't want to see and only see the things that you do want to see in that picture. Let that sit on screen record and then once you've done it the length that you want to, simply turn off the screen record and then go to your Instagram app, hit the plus sign in the top right, hit real. Now you are going to upload that screen recording you just made. Move the toggles to the part where you want that screen recording so you're only showing the image that you want to be seen. Once you've got it where you are for the length of time that you want, simply hit add. Now that picture is in your reel and you can do the same if you would like to add more images to that reel. That's way number one. Way number two happens all inside the reels. So you're going to be in your Instagram app with reels and instead of uploading an image, you are going to go through your filters until you find the magnifying glass so that you can search filters. Hit that. You're going to go up to search. You're going to put in green screen return. Tap that green screen you see on the top left. Hit try it. Now that is added to your effects. Then you tap green screen while you are in reels and then hit what you see there that reads add media. Hit add media. Now you are going to select the photo you would like in your reel. And I could be in it, but we don't want that. So move yourself out of the image so we only see that photo that you want in your reel and hit record. Hold down on that for as long as you want to see that image in your reel. And when you're done, take your thumb off. Now that image is in your reel. And if you want to add more, do the same thing over again. What's great about using the green screen effect is you can also add a voiceover while you're recording that image. Watch this. Go back and hit add media. Select the image that you want as we did before. Make sure you're not in the shot and while you are holding down the record, say what you would like to say inside the reel. Need video ideas? Aha! I've got one for you. And then when I go back to check it. Need video ideas? Aha! I've got one for you. You've got a voiceover. Remix is Instagram's version of TikTok's duets. It allows you to collaborate with and feature other creators. This allows you to add your reel to someone else's reel or add your reel to one of your previous reels. Let's show you how to remix a reel. First, you find a reel that you want to remix. Then you hit the three dots in the bottom right corner and if you do not see the option to remix the reel, that means that creator has turned off that option. So let's go to the next reel. Hit the three dots at the bottom right corner, and now I see the option to remix this reel. I simply hit that, it pops up. Now I have the option to create my reel inside the Instagram app, or I could upload a video from my phone. This is something that you don't have on TikTok. On TikTok, you're only allowed to create that duet video inside the TikTok app, but on Reels, we can upload one from our phone. So let's say we upload one from our phone. I hit add. Now my video, when I hit next, appears next to hers. After that, you would go on to add the caption and any other effects that you want, just like you would any regular reel. But here is something that's very important. Those lines up at the top, you have to hit those and you have to add your volume of your video if you want your video to be heard. Otherwise, we're only going to hear the original creator's video and we will not hear yours. You can also turn down the volume of the original creator's audio if you would like. Once you have that where you want it, you simply share to your feed or your Reels channel just like you would any other Reel. It's that easy. Now that we've discussed the what and the how of a remix, let's talk about the why. Number one, it's a new feature on Instagram. Instagram favors people who use new features. Number two, it's like training wheels. If you've never done Reels before or you're new to it, 
you're letting the other person do the work for you. Easy peasy. Number three, exposure. You're going to get more eyeballs on you from people that you remix with. And number four, it's a really fast way to crank out a reel. Let's go. Let me show you what I mean when I say training wheels and letting other people do the work. These are a couple of people in my course, this is video school, and they are new to reels and video. So this is Sherry, and she remixed a video with Marie Forleo, hello, and Marie is dancing in this video. So that's the entertainment right there. I mean, who doesn't wanna watch that? And then Sherry is reacting to it, and she's kind of taking Marie's tips and applying them to what she did this week. So it's entertaining. All Sherry had to do is sit there and drink wine. Then look at this. This is Penny and she did a really quick and cute reel with other people. It probably took her five minutes to crank this out and it was so fun. See, training wheels. Let other people do the work for you. Here's one I did that's very similar. It was eight seconds long and it was very relatable. I let the other people play my family as I was announcing that I was starting my new business and then clearly they did not support me. Very relatable. But the training wheels have to come off eventually and you want to take advantage of all of the benefits of a remix. So let's talk about you creating a video and then asking people to remix it. That's what I did with this video right here. They could react to me just like I was reacting to those people in that last remix. So I posted this and on the cover image and in the caption I said, remix this. And then if you go to the original audio of that sound, you can see all the people who remixed it. So now I'm getting exposure to their audience. Sha, that's money. And then the other thing you can do is get creative. So I posted this one, then I remixed my own video and it did pretty well. So this is me reacting to my initial video. This is something you could do. Let me show you something another person in This Is Video School did that I thought was really smart. He was cross promoting his business account with his personal account. So what he did is he reacted to his video on his business account and remixed it for his personal account. You could also do this with any old reel that you have just to bring it back to life or add another layer of entertainment to it. Your brain is probably hurting because I just threw you so many reels ideas, but don't stop. You've got to get going if you wanna start making money with your reels. Drop a comment below and tell me which one are you going to start with? The ideas for your very first reels, faceless reels, or still photo reels. And I will be cheering you on all the way to make sure you complete it. And click the video on your screen right now because this is going to show you some of the most common reels mistakes you want to avoid.